Buckets, Dippers, and Lids, Secrets to Your Happiness by Carol McLeod, illustrated by Glenn Zimmer. Do you know that everyone in the whole world has an invisible bucket, an invisible dipper, and an invisible lid? It's true, everyone, whatever your age, wherever you live, whatever you look like on the outside, you have an invisible bucket, dipper, and lid. Knowing how buckets, dippers, and lids work will help you learn three secrets to your happiness. Buckets. Your bucket belongs to only you. It has been with you since the day you were born. Your bucket is not an ordinary bucket that holds water or sand. It's where you hold all your happiness. When you were little, you depended on other people to fill your bucket. They filled your bucket when they held you, played with you, and took good care of you. They also filled your bucket when they changed your stinky diapers. As you grew, you started to fill your own bucket. You were so happy and proud when you learned to do things on your own, like ride a bicycle, read a book, or catch a ball. You were filling your own bucket. Filling your own bucket is a big part of your happiness. You fill at least two buckets whenever you are kind to others. First, you fill their bucket by being thoughtful towards them. Then, you fill your bucket because you feel happy when you help others feel happy. Isn't it great to know that when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your bucket too? The good feelings you give to others come back to you. Filling a bucket is simple. First, think of someone whose bucket you could fill. Then, think of what you could do to fill it. Could you invite a friend to join you for lunch? Could you thank your mom or dad for a delicious dinner? Could you take time to play with your pet? Even our pets have buckets. Could you help around the house? Bucket filling is a terrific habit because everyone is happier. Learning to fill buckets is the first secret to your happiness. Dippers. Dippers are what dip into buckets and remove some happiness. Bucket dipping is the opposite of bucket filling. Instead of adding some good thoughts and feelings, Bucket dipping takes some away. Bucket dipping is a terrible habit because no one is happier. There are many ways to dip into buckets. Calling people names, bullying them, or pointing and laughing at them are just a few. This is a mystery. Why does everyone, including you, have an invisible dipper? And why would anyone have or use something that takes happiness away? No one knows for sure. Bucket dipping could be a bad habit that you learn from others. You may think it's okay to dip buckets if others do it. Bucket dipping is not okay. It is possible you don't know that you're bucket dipping. After all, buckets and dippers are invisible. You can't see the actual dipping, but when your bucket is dipped, you will feel it. Your dipper can have a mind of its own. Unless you resist, it will jump into bucket dipping action before you know it, especially if someone dips into your bucket first. For example, what if your brother takes or breaks something special that belongs to you? Quick as a blink without thinking about it, your dipper starts moving and then, watch out, you dip right back. You might say things like, get lost, or even, I hate you. You don't mean those things, but when you let angry feelings become hurtful words, your dipper takes a giant dip out of someone's bucket. And what happens when you dip into buckets? You don't fill your bucket, you empty it more. You're not proud of yourself, you're less proud. Your dipper can't take someone else's happiness and put it in your bucket. Bucket dipping hurts everyone. Many people who dip into buckets will say the first thing that comes to mind. They haven't learned how to resist the urge to dip. Everyone must learn not to dip because everyone has a dipper. To keep everyone's bucket full, here are two good rules to follow. Number one, stop and think before you say anything. Number two, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. You may be surprised by how much practice you need. Learning to resist the urge to dip is the second secret to your happiness.
lids. You might be wondering, what's a lid? Good question. Even many grown-ups don't know that they have a lid. And if you don't know you have a lid, how will you keep your bucket from being dipped and emptied? It will certainly get dipped at some time, someday, somewhere, by someone. Your lid helps protect the happiness in your bucket. Do you know that you could be a super great bucket filler who almost never dips, and your bucket could be empty? How could that be? It's because you don't know about your lid or how to use it. Think of your bucket as being filled with precious jewels. Do you want others to steal your treasures? No way. Your happiness is just as valuable, and you must protect it. After all, your bucket holds your good thoughts and feelings, and you need to keep them. That's why your bucket needs a lid. Here's how your lid works. When someone says or does something that dips into your bucket, you feel it. Instantly, you're not as happy as you were a minute ago. You might feel sad, angry, hurt, scared, or embarrassed. Any ouch feeling is an important sign warning to you to use your lid. Let's imagine someone rudely says to you, where did you get that jacket? Ouch. That ouch feeling is a sign your bucket is getting dipped. It's time to use your lid. Your lid says stop. So stop, take a deep breath, and think. Don't dip back. Remember, this is your bucket, and you want it to stay full. Your lid gives you time to stop and think. It keeps you from losing more happiness while you try to understand why someone is dipping. Is this a bad habit they learned? Are they showing off? In a hurry? Is their bucket a little low? You can be sure that if someone says or does something to hurt you, it's not about you. It's about them and their bucket that is not full. However, if you don't know the problem is their less than full bucket and you dip back or remain hurt or angry, how will your bucket stay full? Talk to people who know about bucket filling and I'm sure they'll agree. There's another time when you may need your lid. Do you know you can dip into your own bucket and take away your own happiness by what you tell yourself? Yes, you can. One way you do this is by comparing yourself to others. For example, what if you're upset or jealous because your new baby brother or sister is getting more attention than you? Use your lid to stop, think, and try to understand that people shine at different times in different ways. Remind yourself that every person is valuable and every person is a star, including you. Your time to shine will come, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Do you know that the people who love you and you love the most can dip into your bucket and you can dip into theirs? Bucket dipping happens in all families. No one is perfect. Your lid helps you to understand, forgive, and protect the good thoughts and feelings in your bucket. But don't keep your lid on your bucket all the time. If you do, how can people fill it? You only need your lid when someone is dipping. Most people, including parents, teachers, and friends, are awesome bucket fillers. And most of the time, they help to make your life terrific. Here's one good thing to know. Your lid can help others, and their lid can help you. You do this when you stand up for one another. However, if no one is around when your bucket is getting dipped, you need to use your own lid to protect your own bucket or get help from others. Learning to use your lid is the third secret to your happiness. Now you know about invisible buckets, dippers, and lids, and how they work. First, everyone has a bucket, and you can fill it with happiness. Second, everyone has a dipper that can take happiness away. Third, everyone has a lid, and lids protect happiness. Learning anything new, including these secrets to your happiness, requires practice. It can be difficult, and you will make mistakes. Mistakes are a big part of learning, so don't give up. You can do it, and it's worth the time and effort. With practice, you will get better. You will be happier, and you will help others be happier too. Now it's up to you. All around the world, thousands of people of all ages have taken the Bucket Fillers Pledge. We encourage you to make this same promise to yourself. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip, and to use my lid for myself and others at home, at school, and everywhere I go.